which is a little wider field than a tripod, and just do totality without worrying about the partial phases. Professor J. Pasikov was a leading astronomer with a deep passion for the cosmos and solar eclipses. His dedication to studying and sharing the wonders of the universe at Williams College and beyond has inspired countless individuals, including myself. I first met Professor Pasikov at Williams Previews, and he was one of the main reasons why I chose to study at Williams College. Studying with him is really an out-of-the-world experience. From our truly memorable heliophysics tutorial sessions, to his amazing collection of rare books and his demonstrations that connects the music, arts, and the sciences at Sawyer Library, to our meaningful conversations at his house for dinner with friends and family, to wonderful trips and unforgettable sky observation sessions, and of course, his immense mentorship for my senior astrophysics and mathematics thesis. Really, his genuine caring and guidance have truly been incredible as a student and well beyond graduation. I'm an astrophysics major from the class of 1994, and on Monday I'll be heading to Vermont for my first solar eclipse ever. And when I'm there observing the eclipse, hopefully with clear weather, I'll be thinking about Jay, because I know that he was very passionate about solar eclipses, and he uh, really made it a point to try to bring as many students as he could. So I'll be thinking about Jay during the solar eclipse on Monday. I took introductory astronomy my first semester with Professor Pasikoff. I also particularly uh, enjoyed the uh, class assignment of taking a photograph um, using one of the college's uh, telescopes. And I remember he helped me uh, do that and the picture came out particularly well and I have carried it with me my whole uh, life. It was the race to the moon that brought me to love astronomy, but it was the program that Jay Pasikoff created at Williams College that brought me there. I started Williams College in 2001, and it was a very difficult place for someone from the warm, sunny environment of Trinidad and Tobago. But Jay and Naomi were so warm and so welcoming and created such a memorable experience for me and other Caribbean students and other students in general in the bushes at Williams College. It was really the trip, the solar ex eclipse expedition over Antarctica in 2003 when I accompanied him and Naomi. It was such a life-changing experience that I decided I needed to major in astronomy. He still stayed in touch over the years, even as I pursued my PhD in sociology, and he was always remained very concerned about my intellectual and personal development. I will always remain indebted to Professor Pasikoff for exposing me to a whole new field that I never imagined that I would ever be uh, a part of and for his brilliance, his openness, his warmth and caring, and just overall being a monumental figure in my life and in his students' lives. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, the astronomy major is a bit less intensive on physics, appealing to those that are intrigued by the cosmos, but not necessarily aiming to have a career in it or go into heavy quantitative analysis. So uh, for me, uh, this separation was actually quite a source of anxiety. Then a pivotal moment came during an evening at Jay's home. We were invited uh, from our class of science and pseudosciences over for dinner. And then it was my turn to speak and I was like, oh, you know, for majors, uh, thinking of astronomy, I don't know. Uh, yeah, continue. <laughs> and that's when Jay just paused the conversation. He just zeroed in on me and then was questioning my reasoning. That's when I confessed. I was like, you know what? I don't really know if I'm even smart enough for astrophysics, if I could do this quantitative analysis. And then he just dismissed that outright, called it ridiculous, and then just encouraged me to pursue astrophysics regardless. So I was just caught up in my own insecurities that I didn't realize that uh, there was somebody that I respected that believed in me. So Jay's belief was a turning point for me, changing not only my academic path, but also just how I viewed my own potential. 
Oddly, I never took a class with Jay well at Williams, but I was an astrophysics major, and so he was a huge part of my Williams experience. And thanks to Jay, I had the opportunity to travel to Zambia as part of the 2001 Williams Solar Eclipse Expedition. Traveling to Africa and observing the eclipse was certainly one of my most memorable experiences at college, and one of the reasons that I wanted to continue and to earn a PhD in astronomy. Even more amazing, however, was Jay's continued dedication to his students after they graduated from Williams. All my students over the years really have benefited from Jay's influence on me. This is an eclipse tribute to Jay and everyone who's ever come out of the Williams Astrophysics Department. Uh, I had a wonderful time viewing the eclipse in Connecticut. It was not totality. Uh, with my kids and my husband and my parents. And it was particularly wonderful because I then came and found in, inside and found my diary from June 2001, Zambia, roof of the Intercontinental Hotel, setting up our temperature experiments and then seeing the eclipse in full form on that very spectacular day. What an incredible experience that was and what a very special, special person Jay was and what an incredible experience he gave to all of us. So just sending hellos to everyone out there. Um, I'm here in Lake Placid, New York, which is about 150 miles north northwest of Williamstown. Um, we're about 30 minutes away from totality now, um, so we're getting excited. Though I never had the opportunity to travel with Professor Pasikoff to see an eclipse, um, I did take a tutorial with him my senior year. And uh, about 40 years earlier, my aunt, Jean Schroeder, who's class of 75, also had the opportunity to take a class with him. Kevin Greenberg, class of 93, here in East Millinocket, Maine. We're not gonna get clouded out like we did in 1991. Thank you to all the Pasikoffs, Naomi, Deborah, Eloise, and of course, Jay. It's your memory that we're celebrating today and looking forward to the eclipse. I was a, an astrophysics major at Williams, and although I didn't uh, pursue astrophysics as a career, uh, my time at Williams and my time uh, working on the uh, rooftop and in the Millen Planetarium uh, engendered a lifelong love of things like this. Dr. Pasikoff played a big part in, in, in promoting that. And this one's for uh, all the wonder that looking up to the sky provides. Here it is. We're in the midst of totality. Incredible scene here. And just below the sun, we now see a star right at the top of the screen there. That is the planet Venus. Take your glasses off, glasses off, glasses off. Dude, I... Oh my God, guys. <laughs> I gotta make out with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the dog? Where's the dog when I need one? Wow. Wow. What do you guys think? Awesome! Max? Oh my god! Oh my god! Jay was very, very special and is greatly missed. Um, as we're getting ready to experience our first uh, total solar eclipse, I'm thinking back on a long, illustrious career uh, where he inspired so many of us. Thank you, Jay Baskoff. So remembering Jay, I'm reminded of his unwavering support for his students and his ability to see beyond our self-doubts. The tribute is more than just about the love for eclipses, it's also a celebration for the enduring impact that he's had on all of us. I know that we will all miss him dearly. Thank you, Professor Pasikov, for your tremendous impact on my life and lives of so many others. Your passion for astronomy, dedication to education, and your ability to bring people together. We carry your spirit with us as we continue to explore the miracles of the cosmos and the wonders of the universe.